everyone. It's been week 23 here at Lambda School, and we just finished the week with our sprint challenge today. And this week we covered computer architecture, which is basically things underneath the hood at a chip level. So you can think of things like the CPU, the RAM, the registers, and the other small things inside your computer. We also went through hexadecimal um, binary and decimal conversions. So that was pretty cool. I finally understand how to actually go between the, those different values. Um, quick note, they are all the same. It's just kind of how they are said. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool. And I, 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 can, I learned a few things uh, on how to actually work with them as well. So for the week, we had Sean for our instructor. The lectures weren't that great, so I actually had to resort to old lectures from CS12 and CS11. And Bij did those lectures, and I understood a lot more, and I took away a lot more than compared to what we had um, here in our lecture this week. Uh, nonetheless, it was helpful, and it was a short week this week as well. Uh, Monday was uh, MLK day, so we only had pretty much three days this week where we did homework. And for the homework this week, it wasn't too bad either. We continued working with the C language and we did things, uh, different operations and different subroutines and working with uh, kind of like a simulated computer. So we worked with this LS8 uh, emulator, which kind of uh, emulated a, a real computer, except on a smaller scale. So we learned to work with registers, how to work with stacks, how to store things on the RAM at different addresses. Um, so just a lot of cool things in general. And we learned how to print things out, how to open a file and grab different um, computer instructions so that the computer can copy it and then actually run through it and execute it. So definitely learned a lot this week. Um, it's very interesting to see how things work underneath the hood um, at a chip level. And then for our sprint challenge, it was basically a continuation of what we did on the homework. We were implementing a new mo a few more uh, features, such as the, the CMP, which is compare, the uh, JEQ and JNE, um, and the jump feature, JMP. So don't worry too much if you don't know what those mean. It was just basically we had to implement these features and as another part of our sprint challenge we did these mini interviews with different um, project managers. So we started this doing this last week where we would hop into the interview and kind of just answer different questions and for a total of uh, five minutes um, a very uh, variety of questions and they weren't too difficult. Um, my questions uh, included uh, describe parts of a computer um, given a certain picture. So talking about the CPU, the registers, the RAM, etc. Um, I had to convert from binary. No, I had to convert from hexadecimal to binary as another question, and then how a computer stack works um, with the RAM and everything. So overall, a great week. Um, I'm very excited now heading um, down the home stretch. We got week 24, week 25, and then I'm headed to labs for five weeks. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to uh, get out of here and uh, start looking for jobs and everything. Um, I think we are going to get some coaching on kind of how we'll finish up the rest of the court rest of the curriculum here um, after our one-on-ones today. So I'm excited to see what comes up. And I think that's going to do it for me here. So big news, uh, I'll tell you to you guys today, I'm actually headed to Mexico. Um, if I haven't told you last week already, I can't remember. So headed to Mexico in about two weeks right after my project week here with computer science. And I will be working uh, on my labs project while I'm in Mexico. So I'm very excited, got my ticket already. As you can see, I'm getting ready to uh, pack up here, um, buy things that I need. 
um, and just kind of, uh, you know, uh, waiting until I get on the plane. <laughs> in uh, separate news, if you're interested, I was working on my portfolio website with Gatsby JS. Uh, I made some friends here in the Gatsby channel and we're kind of just debugging things. And I finally got a big part of my uh, website working, the projects part. Uh, the problem was I was trying to render images with uh, Gatsby image so that I can take advantage of how, um, how it does this blur effect when you have a slow connection. So got that working and then I'm going to try to work on the content, the styling, and also maybe a dark mode where you can flip between uh, light and dark. So that's for this weekend. And yeah, I'm just working on my way. Uh, home here on the home stretch. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you next week